Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tara with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for Libra, for my ear sign subscribers. This is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs or if you're cross watcher and you're interested in, madly in love with or you just want to know how your Libra ex is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you don't wish any negativity upon anybody please only positivity because karma is a b and i'll end up coming back on the my loves okay let's get it started okay to messages Messages for Libra, please. For my lovely Libras. Whoop. All I'm hearing, like my spirit guides are, and it's mainly my my masculine spirit guide whose name is Fred all he's saying on repeat is will they give me a second chance will they give me a second chance I just want a second chance I can prove I've changed will they give me a second chance that's literally all I'm repeating hearing 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 like it's on a loop is that what you want me to tune into Yeah. So it looks like somebody wants reconciliation with you, Libra. So if you don't want to be connected to a past love, then this isn't the reading for you. But it's this energy is it's coming in very, very strong. Yeah, there was once an end in here and somebody wants a new beginning. They have had so much faith. And they've rebuilt their life so much. The thought of being with you, the thought of having you in their life, the thought of making you happy, impressing you, having you be proud of them for how much they have transformed, that has been where they've been fighting to get that end storyline to be able to get to that finish line they've been working so so hard to get there to get to that moment where they can finally come into union with you and you be proud you've seen the hard times they've gone through you've seen the painful things this person has had to process, how much healing they've had to do in their life. I do feel like I'm being shown it's something to do with addiction. It's, it's, a, it's a big addiction. I do feel like it's alcohol or drugs, but I'm swaying towards more towards alcohol. They didn't ever get physical as in hurt you well that's not what i'm seeing um but i do see they got very nasty with their words in particular or um my spirit guides aren't showing me that they got physical with you because it's too painful for you to um hear about If this person has been physical with you, not that I'm seeing that, but if they have, don't ever go back into a situation where somebody has put their hands on you. I've been there. It took me so many attempts to get out of an abusive relationship. And sadly, as much as somebody is saying 
they're changing, they're, they're getting better, they won't do it again. As much as somebody says, says that, it never changes, especially when it comes to alcohol, um, especially addiction. Um, yeah, they can't see past that addiction, sadly. That addiction consumes them so much that even though they may love you, even though they may love their family, they can't put their family and their, their loved ones first. Their addiction is at the forefront and they've got to do whatever they can to take that craving away because that craving becomes so consuming that they need to do whatever they can to get that drink, to get that drugs, um, sexual addictions, gambling, have that fix. They need to have that fix. And if it means hurting a family member um, by stealing or um, having an argument because they're drunk, they can't see that. All they can see is that they need to sort that fix. They need to get rid of that, that heightened, because they haven't had um, a fix for such a long time. They haven't had that drink. They haven't been having sex. Whatever it is they're obsessed with, they're addicted to, they need to get that fix. And sadly, people get hurt in the process, but it's addiction. And um, once they get consumed by that, sadly, um, it's like grieving, it's like losing somebody. Um, it's hard to get that person back. So I just wanted, that's very important um, for me to say, but I, I don't see it as abuse, but if it is, um, get the help that you need to get and don't go back into that relationship, it's not worth it. But for um, most of you, I don't feel like it's physical. You deserve so much better, my spirit guides are saying. You are a leader. You are in control of your life. You're a powerhouse. You know what you deserve. And if you can see this person has changed, if you can see that there's no red flags, you can see they've... Um, been working on themselves, you can see there's growth, then take it day by day and work through. I really do feel like communication needs to happen here. There needs to be a sit down and if this person can't sit down with you, can't talk about what you've gone through, then you shouldn't move towards them. But I do feel like communication's happening where there's this moment of vulnerability and that might be the stepping stones of you two coming back together. That might be the moment you're gonna be like, wow, I have waited years for some of you to have this clarity, to have this understanding of what happened, where you went, how, why did you treat me in that way? Don't, 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 don't. All right. Please be patient with me. I don't trust myself at the moment. Yeah, they're finding... Right. Your person is really working hard on themselves, okay? But they're still really insecure that you're going to judge them, that being vulnerable and telling you the ins and outs of what happened, you're going to judge them and you're going to be like, hey, told you. I knew you were a waste of space. Like, they, they're just up in their heads. That's what they are. I needed this journey to understand my feelings for you. Nothing in life is the same without you. Yeah, whoa, this person's learnt the hard way. I have issues and I don't deserve your love. Yeah, you've always been there for them, Libra. Libra all up in their love, I know. 
I'm a, I'm a Libra rising. You have always been patient with them. You, you, I don't feel like you've ever judged them. But because you've never judged them, because you've always been there for them, you've always been quite nurturing. I just do feel like there's outside factors that pulled you two apart. That's what I'm feeling. So whether it's per parents, friends, something like that, I do feel like there's other people going, they're not good for you. Don't go near them. Oh God, they're not good for you. You wanna go near him or her? No, 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 no. I do feel like it's a masculine that's struggling from addictions. That's what they're making me see. It could be a female and a masculine energy, but I'm seeing a man. That's what they're showing me. We deserve a new beginning. I was never ready for commitment. I think commitment scared them. I think they were always scared that they were gonna let you down because they were suffering from addictions. So I feel like that's why they pulled their energy back from you. Yeah, that's what they pulled their, their energy back. I'm emotionally unavailable right now. Yeah, They're, this person is so working on themselves, it is being so brave, but you feel their love, you feel this, this tie to them. You know that you two are meant to be, but you are having that faith, you're having that trust in the divine and Yeah, you just know in your gut. You know with your whole being that you're meant to be. I wish things were different. It just scares me to feel so much for you. They don't want to let you down again. They don't want to let you down again. And all they're doing is working their butts off to be able to be able to provide for you and them. To know that they are stable. They're working so hard for stability, for growth. They want nothing but for the best for you two. They they really do, my loves. That's all that that's all this person is working on. This is all your messages, my loves. I hope it gave you clarity on your current situation. If you did want a personal, everything's linked down below. Go and check out on Patreon. I'd be really grateful if you did so. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journeys. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, my lovelies. Bye. Bye.